Hi, we're at one of our training facilities and we're talking about using a car as cover. Quite a few viewers have asked about this topic, so here we are. Now this comes with a couple of things. First, forgive the redundancy, but the explanation of the difference between cover and concealment. Concealment is protection from enemy view, cover is protection from enemy fire. Another thing is, some time ago, I did a presentation comparing the difference in power of AK platform versus AR platform rifles, and part of that was shooting a car. And part of that process was shooting through two car doors. And I found that both 556 NATO and 762 by 39 about half of the rounds I fired went through two car doors and still had enough power to go through multiple layers of three-quarter inch plywood. The car doors could not be counted on to consistently stop those projectiles. So if car doors won't stop 556 NATO or 762 by 39, we can infer that they also would not stop 762 NATO or 545 by 39. I also consider it axiomatic that car doors are not going to stop 300 Winchester Magnum, 30-06, 8mm Remington Magnum, 7mm Remington Magnum, 6mm Remington Magnum, 243 Winchester, 3030, the list goes on. In short, car doors cannot be counted on to consistently stop projectiles from serious rifle rounds. So that brings us to three questions for today. Bro, this guy brought up every bullet. I've never seen a more thorough YouTube video. Like, he's like, I feel like he's gonna bring up bullets that have been decommissioned, you know what I mean? Like a musket round. Like, he brought up every round in the history, dude. He's got ancient wisdom, dog. What the fuck? You like guns and name every bullet? This motherfucker just did, dude. He just did. He knows all of the albums of guns, okay? He knows all of the albums. One being, should you use a car as cover? And I would say, not if you have a viable alternative. But the two big questions are, one, if car doors cannot consistently stop serious rifle rounds, what kind of projectiles can they stop? And the other question is, it's always are there what parts I'm asking. of a car- Dude, I'm always asking that question, dude. <laughs> that are more bullet resistant than other parts of the car. Well, I've got a couple of cars, I have a few guns. Let's find out. Now what we've got here is our favorite target, soda jugs, and they're sitting on this cooler just to get them up to the right level. And I'm going to shoot from the driver's side and I'll shoot from a distance of seven yards and we'll shoot through the trunk. And the gun I'm going to start with is this Colt government model, caliber 45 ACP, and I've got it loaded with 230 grain full metal jacket round nose. Oh my god! Wait, is he shooting from the other side? No. With the 45, I saw two exit holes, so I said two went through. You saw the three impacts because the third shot fragmented one piece making the bottom of the car. I fired four shots, and on the driver's side, they all just went through the sheet metal. On the passenger side, we see two went through the sheet metal and went. Wait, where the fuck did he shoot from? Inside the car? Did he shoot from the other side of the car and it literally went through both sides of the car? Oh my god, cars are literally made out of butter, dude. What? God damn it, dude. I lit oh my god, video games and movies have ruined us. Someone in the chat said, guns are OP, please nerf. ...through our soda. But two of these rounds hit at enough of an angle that they hit back here where there's several layers of metal and they were stopped. So a car stopping a bullet has a lot to do with where the car gets hit. Now I'll set this up again and we'll do the same process again, this time with a Beretta 92FS caliber 9x19, and it's loaded with 115 grain full metal jacket round nose. With the 9mm, I fired five rounds. All five just hit the sheet metal and all five went through. So our car is not faring very well. But again, the question, is there anything a car can stop? Well, I'll go back seven yards and I'll shoot the car with my Ruger Mark III caliber 22 long rifle. And I've got it loaded with CCI Mini Mag 40 grain copper wash round nose. Let's see if the car can stop this. It will. Oh my God, I was wrong.
Interesting results with our 22. The car stopped most of them. You can see the hump here where the bullet almost went through. And even the bullets that went through had very little power left. Only one penetrated a soda jug and the bullet was still in the first jug. It had very little power left. So it would appear a car fares pretty well against a 22. And remember, this was only seven yards. From a meaningful distance like 50 or 100 yards, the car- Bro, one of those didn't even, one of those is inside the Shasta bottle currently. Also, I feel like, like, I don't know what's going on there. Like, how is, it's, it's surprising that the car actually was not able to stop all of those bullets. Would fare even better. You know, let me show you a close up of this bullet. And there's the bullet that was stuck in the soda jug after going through the car. Now we're on the driver's side of the car and here's our 45 or nine millimeter and our 22 bullet holes. But how will the car fare against shotgun projectiles? Now this is a Remington 870 with an 18 inch cylinder bore barrel and I've got it loaded with Remington 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch, one and one quarter ounce of number six lead birdshot. And I'll shoot from 15 yards and let's see what happens. Well, the bird sh- Hey, Pepper and all with them. That's that Pepper. Shot was devastating to the paint job, but none of Too those pellets pepper. went through the metal. However, a couple of them did go through this tire. I can feel the air coming out. It'll be flat soon enough. But let's see how we do with buckshot. Now I've got the shotgun loaded with Federal 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch, double-aught buck, 12 pellet. And again, I'll shoot from 15 yards. Dude, this guy is like, I've never seen someone so thorough. There's no shot he's all right. I feel like he's not all right. He's, I don't know what's going on up there because this is the most thorough gun nut I've ever seen. I mean, he's great, but like also terrifying at the same time. You know what I mean? Now this was double lot buck 12 pellets. When I shot this quarter panel, that's 24 pellets. And even though this was already compromised, none of those pellets went through to the other side of the car. Now with the door, this is again two shots and that's 24 pellets. But the real story is on the inside of the door. Of the 24 pellets that hit the door, only- Bro, he literally sounds like a Twin Peaks character. Kind of looks like one too. Like I can see him being in a, in, in like a scene. Stolen from chat. What? Only about 10. People see him as an authority because he's one of the few gun tubers who's actually killed someone in self-defense. Wait, what? That's your bona fides, dude? You get your fucking street cred by murdering someone? What the fuck? Next episode, can a human body block a bullet? And went through the door, and somewhere in there, the shock broke that window. Just the tape is holding that together. But the real story is on the other side of the car. Now we see here the holes from our hand. Self-defense is murder, Hassan 2021. I mean, I, I need to know what the self-defense situation was about. Handgun projectiles, but again, none of those shot pellets went through. And in the door, none went through, only one made a dent in it. So it would appear that against shotguns, a car can be fairly good cover. Now right now, some of you are thinking, what about the stuff that's inside a car door? Well, a car door will have a reinforcing bar in it that will vary in location and size and shape depending on the car. There's also window carriage in there. Some doors will have an electric motor to make your window go up and down. Some will have a stereo speaker in there. So with a car door, it has a lot- You're bleeding out while this guy stands over you explaining the bullets inside of you. Yes, I'm using a government issued full metal jacket, um, hollow tip. <clears throat> on a government-issued Colt 1911. That's right.
The bullet that is going through your insides right now is also leaded. Therefore, making sure that your inevitable demise is swift and very painful. That's right. If the immediate... <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. I don't think you can have a... Uh, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Stop. Gun, gun nerds. Let me fucking... Let me make my joke challenge. Okay? Who <laughs> said he has someone in the trunk right now? <laughs> oh, knowing that this man has killed gives him an entirely different vibe. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Uh, but really, the story's on the other side. Now, I'm gonna turn you around to show you the exit wounds. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. A hollow point can't be a full metal jacket. Shut up, shut up. Nobody knows, and nobody cares, you fucking loser. Nobody, literally no one cares. You're like, you're just a gun weeb, okay? I'm making a joke, and like 98% of the chat does not know that like, oh, it can't be that. And, and everyone is just like allowed to laugh, okay? Knowing that he's killed someone really makes it feel like a Twin Peaks area. No, this entire video has got Twin Peaks vibes, dude. All you need to do is... A lot more to do with where you hit it than what you hit it with. But as you saw on the other side of the car with 24 pellets of buckshot, where we hit it was pretty much everywhere, and it still stopped the pellets. So although the car does not fare very well against rifles and pistols, it would appear that against a shotgun, it can be good cover. So against birdshot and buckshot, your car... Dude, he looks so angry and scary here. I'm sorry. I don't know why. It's just like he's getting progressively scarier. Maybe because now I know he fucking murdered. It was not mur killed. Sorry, gun weebs. Car seems to do pretty well. But what about a slug? Well, we'll get back to annihilating the Toyota in a minute, but for the slug demonstration, I want to use this 2005 Dodge Neon. And I've got my Remington 870 loaded with Winchester Super X 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch, one ounce rifled slug. And I'll shoot this door from 15 yards. Holy shit. Now, I didn't put any target behind the car because I figure anything that can make a hole that big still has plenty of power to do a lot of damage to you. But I fired six shots and only three of the slugs actually went through. Oh, and none of them hit this window, just the concussion broke it. So let's see how our car doors fare against a handgun. I'll shoot from seven yards through the driver's door and we'll see if the projectiles will pass through the front passenger door into our soda jugs. The handgun I'm going to use is a Sig Sauer model P229 caliber 40 Smith & Wesson. And the ammunition is Winchester Ranger T. It's awesome. He has it in his, like, he just always pulls it out of his pocket. Dude, this guy's great. 40 Smith & Wesson 180 grain jacket at hollow point. A viewer sent me this and asked me to test it, so here we are. Also with the Ranger T, questions came up about its role as a law enforcement ammunition, so its ability to shoot through a car door may be relevant. And I'll try to spread the shots in the driver's door out to account for the variables inside the door. Let's see how we do. Oh my god, he's like teaching criminals how to fucking avoid cops. He's like, yeah, it's relevant. Who's asking this question? Crimers, dude? I don't understand. Like, if someone's asking that question, that's awfully suspicious, my friend. No, he's teaching us how to protect ourselves against him. Dude, if this motherfucker literally has a bead on you, dude, you're, it's over. You're dead. Just give up immediately. Just, you know, try to enjoy your last moment on this planet because he's going to fucking kill you. Okay? He knows every bullet, dude. He knows every bullet, dude. He got a fucking PhD in gun shit. He's just going to toy with you a little bit before he murders you, you know what I mean? <laughs> now, I fired 13 shots, and as you can see, I tried to spread them out. You also saw that only three went through. Now, let's see how our 9mm does. This is loaded with Winchester Ranger T 9x19, 147 grain jacket at hollow point. 
147 grain projectile is fairly heavy for a 9mm, and this ammunition is supposed to be good for barrier penetration. Let's see how it does against the barrier of the car door. Bro, cars are low-key not that bad. <laughs> like, what I'm learning is like, especially if you stand in front of the engine block, no shot, dude. He's essentially Ted Kaczynski before he went insane and started building bombs. He's made a career in training the police and military, so that's why he knows a lot too, by the way. I don't know if I want this guy training anybody, dude. Props to the camera, dude, for having steady hands. Dude, that's a tripod. Someone is not holding that camera up behind the car. Are you insane? So with the 40, I fired 13 shots and three went through. With the nine millimeter, I fired 15 shots and four went through. So about the same percentage. Now considering on a previous presentation, we shot the meat target with the Winchester Ranger T9 by 19, 147 grain jacket at hollow point and its performance was unimpressive. Would you really say that its performance in this car door makes up for that enough to make it worth carrying? You be the judge. For what? Now there's no question. Why? Why do you need a gun that can penetrate a multiple car doors? I don't understand. <laughs> Why though? Question that the part of most vehicles that is going this motherfucker using full pronouns of guns. Yeah, gun weebs will tell you the grammage of the fucking bullet that they're using, but still be like, what's that, then, brother? I don't understand it. <laughs> going to give you the greatest bullet resistance is behind the engine compartment. So we've got our soda jug set up. I'll go to the other side of the car, shoot through the engine compartment, and see how we do. Also, some of you may have noticed that we changed camera angles. That's because we're dealing with something called glare. It's a rare phenomenon that occurs on those very few occasions when I can see the sun. Now it's been- Okay, dude, don't do that. Don't emote, don't do that. That's not okay. Oh, wow, when he tried it? Nope, that's like, not good, man. That's, that was very unsettling. That was like, that was like watching Cory Booker try to be a human. You know what I mean? You're like, nope, don't do that. It's not gonna fool me. It makes you look worse. Okay? No. Stop. Very scary. I want you to go back to the fucking monotone uh, a description of all the bullets in existence in mankind. It's a rare phenomenon that occurs on those very few occasions when I can see the sun. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, dude. Now, it's been said that it's all fun and games until someone pulls out an M16, or in this case, a cold AR-15A2. Is that what they say? And I've got this loaded with 5.56 NATO 62 grain steel core penetrators. So I'll shoot from 30 yards and I'll shoot through the engine compartment and see how we do. Okay, chatter. Someone, someone in the chat said, yeah, that's what they say in American schools, and that's not funny, okay? Not a funny joke, okay? Shit's already popping off. School started, there's already fucking, you know. And there you have it. 25 rounds of steel core penetrator, and none went through. So the questions we have... So wait. <laughs> so shit's not... So shit's not penetrating, dude. They call it a penetrator, but, you know, that's... that's... asked at the beginning 
Should you use a car as cover? If you can get behind the right part of it, maybe. And the two big questions, what kind of projectiles can a car really stop? Well, it looks like 22 and most shotgun projectiles pretty consistently. And are there parts of a car that are more bullet resistant than other parts? Absolutely yes. So bottom line, if you have to use a car as cover, if at all possible, get behind the engine compartment and you should be in pretty good shape. So as always, don't try this at home on what you call a professional. And thanks for watching the car as cover video. Okay, I need to see more. Written and directed? He wrote and directed this. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>